Welcome to Talking Comics, where we are bagged, boarded, and pre-recorded. I'm Ryan. I'm Sean. And uh, this is our first podcast. Premiere episode. Premier. Are you pumped? I'm pumped. Jazzed? Ready? I am good to go. Settle down. <laughs> I'm, I'm cocked, locked, and ready to rock. All right. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're talking... Batman v Superman. Batman first. v Superman coming out Friday. Yeah, I'm stoked for it. I'm I'm ready. I am too. A lot of people are still pooping on it. I'm good. Yeah, I'm I'm. Let, let's jump right into the uh, the yeah. thing that everyone's worried about. Everybody's seen the trailer. Everyone's seen the trailer. Everybody knows. <laughs> the Bat Flack. Uh, people are coming around. I was there from day one. Not gonna lie. I I was supporting it. Myself, from as soon as I heard it, I was like, "Yeah, I I see it. Uh, he's fucking. First off, he's buff as hell. I've said it before, hands down, best looking suit. Oh yeah. Uh, and you know, I uh, he's like six six four. Is so he? he he's got like the whole Batman build and like. Oh yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He, he visually, he makes a good Batman. Uh, a little salty on the wing. I heard a, a few uh, what, Superman being called a son of a bitch. And <laughs> <laughs> so we got a salty Bruce Wayne. But <laughs> that, that's to be expected. I mean, he's been, you know, all right, bad man for 20 years. I, the movie comes out Friday. I don't know. It just saw something. What was it? Day before yesterday or yesterday? Zack Snyder's quotes on why Grant Gustin doesn't fit his Flash. He says it's just not his tone. Yeah. What he's looking for. Yeah. What? <laughs> I mean, I know the kid will probably do a pretty good job, as because he's a he's a decent enough actor in the few things I've seen him in, but he he doesn't really scream. I'm the flat. I'm Barry Allen, the Flash to me. Yeah. Uh, that first episode of the Flash, yep. Yeah, it was the yeah. Flash to me. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> you know who? Um, uh, what's his name? Screams. Guy played Luthor? Oh, uh, Jesse Eisenberg. Jesse Eisenberg. Baby Lex. The Baby Lex. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at it the first time I saw him. I'm like, this is the greatest Joker since Heath Ledger, who looked like the Riddler who's playing Lex Luthor. <laughs> <laughs> Jury's still out for me on that one. Uh, <laughs> Along with the fact that, and this is just guesstimation, wishful thinking, whatever you want to call it on my part, Doomsday. They showed Doomsday in the trailer. Yeah, yeah. They would, okay, we know, hopefully maybe that's just a first incarnation, because, you know, you kill him, he comes back, maybe mm-hmm. he just kind of evolves every time he comes back. We, we can only hope. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, they are locked. That's not, I mean, it's this abomination from the Hulk, or it just looks too cartoony. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of, a lot of studios are relying a little, It's it's gotten better, but a lot of studios are still relying on you know, CGIing people a little too much. I mean, if they could have done something like, uh, didn't they kind of like half CGI uh, the thing in the original, like in the other Fantastic Four movies from way back? Michael Chiklis? Yeah. That thing? Ben yeah. Grimm? Oh, it was a suit. It was a suit? Yeah, people pooped on that too. I, I thought it looked good. Yeah. Um, it, he looked like he was made of rock. It was perfect. Yeah. But, uh, let's see. What, what was the other thing I wanted to mention, too? Oh! Speculation. I know this is probably... That that sequence, you see... You've talked about it, too. The the nightmare, spelled with a K, <laughs> where Superman comes in, he's got the guards, and, and he pulls off yeah. Wayne's mask. I A lot of people... I've, I've seen there where a lot of people say it's a dream sequence. You know, mm-hmm. maybe Bruce Wayne's like, oh, he's got to do something because yeah. this is what could happen if Superman was. Is is, uh, is that where he's like in the desert? Yeah, yeah. he's all oh, chained up and Superman uh, comes through the thing. He's got guards again. Why do they? Yeah, <laughs> why does why? Superman need guards? My theory, not a theory, but what I the way I do it, that's Wonder Woman's vision. Because hands mm-hmm. down, that's I'll go see this movie. I want to see Wonder Woman. Oh yeah. I mean, this is the first time. I mean, this is the only time. First time ever. Big screen. When I was uh, looking up my stuff that I wanted to talk about on this podcast today, I was, uh, spoilers, by the way, um, I was looking at the cast, 
and in the cast list, they were talking. They had they had the picture of the guy that's playing in the Aquaman movie. Jason Momoa. Yeah, in the cast list. So I'm wondering if if he's just like an end credits guy, or if they're gonna actually bring him in and they just haven't shown it yet. No, I believe it's because it's locked sitting on a shelf waiting to be released. You yeah, know, obviously now, but no, he's in it and the Flash. So they're all, Ezra Miller. Yeah, they're going so, to be in it. They're that's what scares me. They're, they're cramming. All, they're as all much. popping up in this. Yes. Hmm. They just haven't. I didn't shown know it. that. Um, it's. I, I was thinking that Wonder Woman, because you know how the the Greek she dabbles into the Greek mythology yeah. and she can have visions. What if it that she that's and that's what gets her. You know, she has to have a reason. Not just I'm here. Yeah. Get a reason to show up in this movie because these two are being idiots. Yeah. <laughs> they can see what would happen, like a vision, and then those are parademons and maybe mm-hmm. throwing some dark side. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This is just me though. This time, <laughs> dark side. Definitely. Uh, you know, that's my my speculation is that's probably what they're gonna. They're definitely when it's like real ju- the Justice League movie. It's gonna. It's gotta be dark side. Yeah. yeah. It has to be. Which <laughs> they're starting filming for that pretty soon, I heard this summer. Uh, because I was reading this article online uh, about Affleck and just him talking about you know, you know, getting start picking, getting picked for the movie. Uh, one of the main reasons he did it was for his like four year old son who's just Batman obsessed. He's a huge Bat fan. Affleck's a Bat fan. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's and, I don't sweat him. And yeah, uh, that's why I'm not worried about it. But they're filming in Europe, so you know is there's it, gonna. Is, is this one of the the twelve Warner Brothers movies they want to cram into a week of Batman? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> uh, but you know, filming in Europe that means we're gonna get some beautiful scenery in that movie. Like, yeah, yeah. The cinematography is gonna be good. And oh, speaking of that article I read, apparently his son knows he's Batman. Uh huh. And his son thinks that the FedEx guy is the Joker. <laughs> so every time they get a package, he has to tip the FedEx guy 20 bucks to do a little pantomime fight scene with him. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, he's got it. Okay, here's something that I noticed, not really in an article. Civil War trailer. Mm-hmm. With Batman and V Superman coming out Friday, did you you saw that latest one? The latest Civil War Civil trailer? War trailer? Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about then? <laughs> <laughs> why, for one? I mean, I'd already know the answer why. Yeah. It's that Marvel DC back and forth. Oh thing. yeah, they're they're at it again. They're releasing they know this movie's coming out <laughs> Friday. Marvel's just like, hey, <laughs> hey, DC, fuck your movie. Pretty much. Oh, not to mention the fact they're like, oh yeah? Well guess what? We're going to throw this in, and guess what? we got Spider-Man, too. Oh, and we're going to throw another... You're just going to be a saltine in the middle of a circle jerk because we're raising our daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> now you got two of them. <laughs> it's um, just like... <laughs> well, I, I guess I was the only one who might notice that. Because <laughs> Daredevil, the series, is supposed to come out this Friday along. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nah, we'll just... We'll just lumberjack them. <laughs> and release the Civil War trailer for a movie that doesn't come out until May. It's like... Anyway. Deathstroke. Deathstroke. Tell me about Deathstroke. Yes. Tell me something about Deathstroke. Alrighty, so... The other guy. <laughs> this is the New 52 Deathstroke uh, series. It's all Deathstroke. It's all about him. It came out 2014. Uh, volume 1, Gods of War. We've both read it. And uh, June twenty third. It's freaking awesome. Tony Daniel. Uh, yeah, Tony. He not only did Tony Daniel write, he also he drew it. yeah he yeah. also drew it. Yeah. I I'd never even heard of this guy. And now boom, instant fan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now again, I love Deathstroke to death. Mm-hmm. You and I have talked about it numerous times. Yeah. He's the one that you know. Sorry, folks. We chose over that other guy <laughs> that everybody <laughs> seems to be talking about. <laughs> not not to poop on him or anything, but uh, but it all, didn't it seem a little rushed? 
crammed it. That's what, like, yeah. Batman v Superman. Like, it seems like they're just cramming everything it, in. It kind of <laughs> did. Uh, yeah, it definitely did. Like, it, it seemed like they were trying to fit... A, I, I did enjoy the copious amounts of action in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they definitely tried to fit all of it into this relatively small trade paperback. Yeah, I mean, that's only... The, the, that trade paperback is only one through six. I think so. Issues, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. It, uh... But it's, like... I did like it, I did like the, uh... The brief pairing with Harley Quinn. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh... The Bat, even the Batman one, but that's oh, yeah. kind of... The, yeah. the Batman part was one of my favorite parts because, you know, two of these, you know, oh, huge yeah. characters going at it is always awesome. Um, it was one thing that kind of, I, I get that the stories from Death, Deathstroke's, uh, you know, per, it's being told by him. Uh, and throughout the whole fight, he's talking about, I could have done this in five seconds if I had been, you know, at my peak. And I'm like, and I'm thinking to myself, how many fucking times has Batman kicked your ass? Yep. Time and time again. <laughs> you know, for the, it's funny you mentioned that because I like he is over the over the years. Deathstroke, you know, he's an old man. Mm-hmm. You know, unkillable old man, but an old man nonetheless. Yeah. And the fact that he's always trying to prove himself, or he has to like you know these young bucks to come along. Yeah. You got to do that. That they no spoilers. They stuck him in a young body. Yeah. <laughs> now he's got to prove himself to himself, or or nobody believes who he yeah. is. So so the book starts out. Some shit goes down. A uh, job goes wrong. He gets hit with some weird brain whammy, and then some other stuff that hasn't quite been explained yet. I haven't read volume two yet. I'm planning on getting it in the future. God killer. Yes. What uh, that? I what's his name? I Chang. I Chang. The one that threw the mojo on him? I can't remember the dude's name. I know, we just read it too, dude. <laughs> uh, anyway. I swear, folks, we're fans. <laughs> yes, we are. We promise. Uh, and, you know, wakes, he wakes up in this young body. He's got his eye back. And he throughout the whole comics, he's like, man, it's so weird having my eye back. I can't fight right. I've been. I'm used to not being able to see out to of the this side. To the point, did you see like some of those yeah. things where he he's, like he closed his eye? He just... he's, he's fucking fighting with his eye closed. Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 pretty good comic overall, though. I uh, I definitely would recommend it. It's actually on sale on Amazon right now. I'd prefer it if people went to their local comic book shops. But if there's not one available, it is on Amazon for ten forty six right now, as of today's recording. Um, but check your local comic book shops first, people. Sweet. And if you're uh, listening in Scapoos, go uh, go by the Nerd Nest. Three three five 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 East Columbia Avenue. <laughs> they are both our sponsor, and uh, well, Sean is its proprietor. Shameless plugging. <laughs> Shameless plugging. All right, didn't I tell you at the beginning to settle down? <laughs> you know I don't listen. I know. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, what else is on the agenda? Uh, well, speaking since you just did the shameless plug, let's talk about the book I sold the other day, Batman Adventures number 12. Oh, yeah, you finally sold that. I... <laughs> <laughs> it's been in there a while. Well, you know, those case books. Yeah, they, they don't sell great. This is the one. Now, for those uninitiated, or if you haven't heard, come August, there's a little movie called Suicide Squad. And in this group, there's a certain female. A certain... Um, <laughs> you know what I'm talking a, about? A certain Mrs. Quinn. Yes. Harley Quinn. Now, Batman Adventures number 12 was the first book appearance. Yeah, she was. Uh, she was. She just came out in the. She was created. The animated series. Yeah, in she was created in the anime yeah. animated series. Arlene Sorkin did the voice. <laughs> Snore. And then ninety three was, yeah, Batman Adventures twelve, Batgirl Day one. Yeah, I had sold it at that book. Oh my god! Right now, as as it stands, it's going. It's running about a first edition goes about four fifty. 
and they're predicting whoever they are. It's going to spike up after this movie comes out and the, the, the Harley Quinn craze goes. Oh, yeah. Up to like two grand. Oh, gee, you almost wish you didn't sell it, huh? It's good. <laughs> no, no, no. This is the first. What I, what I did was the variant oh, cover oh, Comic-Con oh, version. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which that was 60 bucks anyway. Oh, that's a pretty good price. Yeah. This is the first. Let's see, I've got, I mean, you can see right here. We've got, well, you guys can. <laughs> you will. I'll, 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 put, I'll put something up for you. If you're watching this on There's YouTube. your first. That's the original. Oh, uh, yeah. First one there. And then that's the Comic-Con mm -hmm. variant cover. There's your 450. There's your 60. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a great book. I mean, Harley Quinn, nothing. I mean, she's got to be the most popular character right now. She's oh, out, yeah. She outsells for, Warner, uh, for DC and Warner Brothers. Well, Warner Brothers come August, but mm -hmm. D, that's her high... I, I would say that's her highest selling book. Oh, yeah. Harley Quinn. Yeah, she's really... Outsells Batman, Superman, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, she's definitely a popular character. I mean, I know a lot of people are really upset about her new origin story, but... <laughs> oh, you're one of those people? And the look. <laughs> <laughs> the look. I am the traditional Bruce Tim original look. I, I like her head to toe. I don't like the... I call it the Hot Topic Harley. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm one of those people who... The look does kind of factor into the, the comic. But overall, I don't usually let it affect me too much. Oh, yeah. No, I'm a sucker for a good story. Then I don't uh, look past that. But, like, everybody's just ranting and raving... Oh, she went crazy because she loved the Joker and she was crazy for the Joker. In the new one, she's been pushed into the vat of the Joker crap and now she's crazy. It Does it really matter? I mean, it's continuity kinda, it's, changes are going to happen. Yeah, well, yeah, that's, that, that's everything. I mean, there, that's a pretty major one. <laughs> I, do, I do like how if you're in the room, which lead, lends more credit to the Joker... The more time you spend just sitting in a room with them, how we can just do that. Oh yeah, <laughs> so, I mean that's kind of cool, right there, right off the bat. I mean, I, I look at it like this though. Yes, she still fell in love with him, and yes, she, he did push her into the vat of that Joker crap. Because I don't know the name of it, so I'm gonna keep calling it the Joker crap. And it did affect her mentally, but she. Still loved the Joker. She could have been like, "Fuck you, dude! You just pushed me into this shit. I hate you now." Instead, she's okay, Mister J. <laughs> 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 you know, sorry, I, I, sorry I, about the audio <laughs> spikes. I my laugh. I I can't control it on the recording. And I will do everything to make him laugh. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry about the spikes. <laughs> uh. I'm that that but that uh yeah so uh I lost my train of thought shit um, no, you're fine. no I get it I mean it's what I, we were talking about how like she's got to be like the you know the spite origin story she's the highest selling yeah book for DC she's I a mean the very ones, in demand character me personally I can't keep on the shelves the Batman you know a mad love. You know, the anything with Suicide Squad. Oh, yeah. I, anything with Harley Quinn, I cannot keep on the shelf. I bought all of your Suicide Squads, actually. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> <cool>. well, Yeah. <laughs> Volumes 1 through three, three, 3. And then just keep reordering them, and just, they, they come in, go right back out. Oh, yeah. They're they're, they're good stories, yeah. too. I mean, you can get, especially, and then, of course, you know, I've went on and on before about, like, Dark Knight Returns. Mm-hmm. For... Frank Miller, I'm not even going to go into that, but I mean, Frank Miller, like, on the cover, like, Mad Love, like, this is the greatest Batman story in the past decade. <laughs> and these days, I don't know, folks, Frank Miller, you get a kind word out of him. It must it's, be special. Uh, it's, I think it'd be easier, <laughs> what did I say last night? <laughs> um, Picking up the clean end of a turd. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. I'm, I'm personally looking forward to uh, the Suicide Squad, no matter what oh, yeah. creative liberties they've taken. Oh, yeah. I mean, 
a lot of people are real upset about the dead shot thing too. But Will Smith's a great actor and he's No, no, no. What you talking about like the color thing? Uh a lot of a lot of people are like dead shots white. Oh he needs you know the it doesn't thing I'm really worried matter. about is Will Smith's famous. Will Smith's famous. I want to see him in a mask. If you're that famous, yeah. You know, if if you're as well paid of an actor as Will Smith, if they do some crazy stuff like I mean, Marvel was genius how they built up the little thing because Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr. You see him a lot. Oh yeah. As much as you pay, as much as they're paying him, you better see him. <laughs> I'm just afraid that they're we're not going to see enough deaths. You know, dead shot mask. Oh yeah. Because he's Will Smith. Um. You know? From the clips I saw, uh, did they go? It looked like they went with like the all white mask. See, I've seen a couple different variations. Yeah, I don't know what the. I've only seen know, a, seen it like a couple of times. I haven't really looked into that one too much. Seen the white one with the with the red. Yeah, I've, I've seen a grayish charcoal one again with the red. So I don't know. Yeah, it'll it'll be interesting. Maybe to I see. get my way and just you know, he's here. Here, I got a whole. Spectrum of masks. I'm aware throughout the movie. Every time I see him, it's a wardrobe change. If there's ever a, <laughs> ever a Deathstroke movie, they're going to be doing that. Oh, sweet dude. If they can do it half as good as Arrow, mm-hmm. that first season. Jeez. Oh, yeah. But not <laughs> Arrow. Any more? Uh, no, I, I think that's about all I have on, uh, on Harley. Is, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I personally would recommend uh, buying the Suicide Squad comics. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I I've only read New Fifty Two. I've only gotten like truly into comic books again. I've always loved them, but I've only like gotten really into them within the past like year. My fault. <laughs> yeah, he, he's created an addiction. I have a serious problem. I'm running out of space and money. I'm like another bookshelf of comics away from sucking dick on a corner. To <laughs> I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like, I suck your dick. Hey, hey, hey. People, people, people know that I know you. <laughs> <laughs> do it outside the next, next county. Over. I'm going to do it right in the shop. <laughs> right in the shop. Just come over to this back well, corner. I'm going to need a percentage of whatever you make because <laughs> you're conducting business in my shop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm, I'm, you know I'm chopping at the bit for this last one. Oh yeah, I'm ready for it. <laughs> I'm ready. Are we going to Hell's Kitchen? Oh, we're, we're doing it. We're, we're doing, doing it. it. All right. We are talking the Devil of Hell's Kitchen now. Season, Daredevil. Daredevil season two just came out. Oh. And once again, Marvel, you're killing it. You're just slaying it. I, oh. I I'm speechless. Actually, I'm I'm speechless. <laughs> What episode are you on right now? Uh, I just finished five, where uh, Matt, no s- spoilers. Where oh yeah, this is going to be a spoiler thing. We're yeah, talking. lots I'll, of spoilers. I'll try not to. I don't know how good he will. I might spoil <laughs> something for him. <laughs> uh, Matt and Electra meet up, and uh, Electra's like fucking with the yakuza, and she's trying to pressure him into fighting alongside her. Even though he just renounced being Daredevil. Oh yeah, see, there's 13 episodes. It's like a 13 hour movie. I'm on 12. <laughs> <laughs> how many? How many times are you gonna rewatch season two? <laughs> Would I do season one five times? Oh yeah, definitely gotta do it. And not because it. Uh, there's there's one reason. Anybody, everybody who knows me, there's one reason why this season will surpass the first season. <laughs> The Punisher. Mr. Frank Castle. <laughs> I could not be happier with oh. their casting. Do you know, I was, I was just thinking about this the other day and I had to double check myself. There's been more people who have played the Punisher on screen than Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least like when they cast someone for Spider-Man, they get a sequel or two out of them. I don't, I mean, that, well, that's the problem. I mean, as much as I love these movies, I just, you know, it's Punisher, Punisher. Pun- I could do on pun- Punisher all day. We could go outside and make a Punisher movie right now. <laughs> I, I got a shaved head. I can rock the, the Marine look. Oh, yeah, see that? That's one thing. Military man, high and tight. High and tight. I love that. Mm-hmm. And the I mean, he started out. Remember when he started? First appearance. 
Uh, it was in a Spider-Man comic. Amazing Spider-Man 129, February 1974. Yeah, he was uh, <laughs> hired by the Jackal to kill Spider-Man for... Well, he was also blamed, I mean, not just the Jackal, because the Punisher has codes and morals, believe oh, yeah. it or not. Uh, Spider-Man was accused of killing Norman Osborn. Osborn. Nobody knows he's the Green Goblin, but, I mean, and obviously he wasn't dead. And it's funny, too, because Jerry Conway wanted to call him Assassin. Yeah, but uh, Stan, being the boss, was like, <laughs> that sounds stupid. Well, <laughs> more he, or less. And he took, like, one of the Galactus world eater. Like, yeah. Had, like, little minion. The, yeah, and like, one of them was named the Punisher. Punisher. Like, Just a little like throwaway that. character yeah. they had, and they were like, so I named him that. cool. And created, uh, basically, it's a character that is created to be, like, the op- opposition of hero figures. Yeah, he's. Like, the, the black and white good guy. Look in the mirror. It's like, what are you doing? How far will you go if you take that extra step? Like, look, Batman. Mm-hmm. They've done Batman, Punisher. Oh yeah, there's, there's been stuff crossovers. Like that. Yeah, actually, when they did the crossover, they, the, one of the crossovers they did with the Punisher and Batman was during the Nightfall incident, where yes. Azrael yeah, was that's Batman right. fucking people up. That's right. It's like Azrael. That's a good call right there. It's like it's literally a Frank Castle put on the Batman suit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which would be a step up from his original look with the white boots. <laughs> I, was, I knew it was going to be brought up. I knew it. And I think we're all happy they uh, decided to uh, oh, get rid of that so look. So sweet. And I'm, I've, I've got little notes here, that without spoiling anything, I've, the the things that just touched me. Not like, you know, the the uncle that comes over on the weekends, but I'm talking about the, <laughs> from reading as a comic. Because, like I said, I have, there's Punisher, Punisher, Punisher. That I mean, I will go on and on about the Punisher. Uh, the only Taking thing... out the kitchen Irish, the beginning part. Yes. That first beginning part. How many people died before we even saw his face, number one? <laughs> that so was awesome. So many people. I mean, the kitchen Irish story, folks, the, the Punisher Max. Read that. I mean, he's going up against the IRA. Oh yeah, I just I just heard about that storyline. I heard it was really good. Yes. Uh, the only Punisher story, the only Punisher comic I've ever read, I think it was called Punisher Born. Oh yeah, yeah, it yeah. Was yeah. During, uh, it was like talking about his time in Vietnam. Yeah, and it was well. See, fucked that, up that's shit. the thing. I, that's another thing I like too. It's like, see, okay, so he was created in '74, so he was like an old Vietnam vet. Yeah. So. You know, you do that, you kind of play upon the the, uh, the PTSD and the, mm-hmm. you know, stuff like that. And it, I guess for the time it worked, but now, you know, and then they really, like, just bombarded, especially in the 80s. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, they, you know, they switch him up, and then they've been made, have you been, have you seen the, the, the court yet? The court? No, you haven't. No, I haven't no, seen okay. that. okay. They offer, spoilers. Spoilers, Ryan. <laughs> There is a certain mention of uh, we're going to go with the pleaded sanity PTSD thing. Like, nah. That's an insult to people who are actually going through this. <laughs> that right there. That is so cool. <laughs> it fucking angers them. You know, the more... Uh, like, it's so easy to, like... And that's what these movies kind of got wrong. It's like, what he does is very one-dimensional. Mm-hmm. Who he is is very multi-layered. Oh, yeah, he's... That's where they always go wrong. They just give him the arc where he's just a guy with a skull on his chest, comes in, bang, 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 and then something happens, and then they hear him up at the end, and then, you know, live happily ever after. That's not, no. That, that's not the Punisher. That's not the Punisher at all. Um, Which brings the second point, the rooftop conversation oh, yeah. with him and Daredevil. I love that scene. Dude, that scene was amazing. I rolled a tear because, I mean, number one... Childhood. <laughs> I mean, I remember reading, I'm like, that's when you really, you sit there and watch that. That was one of those scenes where I just sit there and I, there's a rewind, rewind. For a while, you were ahead of me. <laughs> I just rewind, watch that, rewind, watch that, rewind, watch that. <laughs> yeah, that scene uh, with Daredevil pleading to him and trying to talk to him, it was freaking amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, that right there. Eddie. You know that's that's what makes the character. You got to take time to do that, because Frank Castle without a gun in his hand, there's your story. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you know, it just goes to show. Just because it's a, a comic book movie or a TV show, it doesn't have to be all action all the time. No. We we as fans need backstory. 
We, oh, yeah. We need character fulfillment. We need them to be just completely fleshed out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and there's there's so much storytelling with this guy if you just you know, look past the one... Like I said, what he does is very one-dimensional. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who he is. The, uh, speaking of backstory, another point. The Irish torture scene. Oh, yes. Now, I told you... That, now, this is what I read, again, Punisher Max. First things first. I have to say, that scene made me a little squeamish when he started putting the drill to him. Right, the foot? Oh, yeah. Grrr. Yeah. I, I couldn't stand that part. <laughs> That's your guy. I mean, I hear it all the time. It's like, you know, people, you know, friends of mine and everything. How come you, like, all your superheroes have no superpowers? <laughs> and then we're watching this Daredevil. It's like, the guy's getting beat up more than he's doing beating up the bad guys. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's He's a badass. Yeah, son of a boxer. You know, but that Finn Cooley, man. Now, I don't know, they didn't say the whole night, I remember they calling him Finn, mm-hmm. and the story in the books went, he, he was part of an IRA bombing, and his face is just messed up. We'll have the picture up too, you guys, you know, if you tune in, hopefully, you'll see what I'm <laughs> talking about, or look it up, go buy it, and he's just after money that was left behind in the midst of all that, mm-hmm. whereas this one, he's like... You know, he's convinced, you know, Punisher took his money, Punisher took his money, Punisher, I mean, maybe he, he did. did. He did. <laughs> but, and after he get, of course, gets out, Daredevil shows up, blah, 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 and the shotgun placement. Oh, yeah, right there. <laughs> when he pulls the trigger right in his face, I mean, it was the same thing. I doubt they'll go any further than that, but that was just like a little nod to, if you've ever read. Hint, hint, Marvel. Netflix. Yeah, yeah. And then, oh, the last point, which... This last point is a two-parter because the first season, episode two, the hallway, <laughs> the scene. Russian hallway fight. Oh, uh, that was everything I w- we wanted it to be. And then they up them, they one up themselves. This season, have you seen it yet? Yeah, yeah. The, the dogs of hell. Dogs fight. of hell. Oh fight. my god! But they've done it twice now mm-hmm. in the same season. Yeah. Wait till you see episode nine. Oh boy. Not gonna be as um. They they love their hallway fight scenes. And <laughs> I, I keep doing it. Easy to doing. easy to film. <laughs> it's um. Okay, you've seen two Daredevil. You're gonna see a Punisher. <laughs> oh <laughs> it's oh not, yeah. It's not gonna be a lot of jumping around like Daredevil did. It's gonna be a lot of face punching and kicking. You're going to see a di- but oh my. That's all. That without spoiling anything. That's all. That's all I can say. Uh. You and I were talking the other day about how Marvel has been, like, taking these threads from each of their sh- TV shows and their movies and tying them all together. The continuity. Yeah. Yeah. Like... I love it. Which show was it that also had the Dogs of Hell in it? That, Agents uh, of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. when the Asgardian woman came down and Lady Sif from Thor was following her. Yeah. And she had that mind manipulation power mm-hmm. and she got that newlywed couple. Yeah. And then they only got her so far and she's like, I'm done with you. And then that's what she saw the bikers. It was the, the yeah. And the, the district attorney. She was in there. She oh, yeah. was in there. She was also in Jessica Jones. You know, the continuity. Mm-hmm. Whereas, again, going back, sorry, Zack Snyder, but I think Grant Gustin will be, is your flash. <laughs> no, yeah. just, just want to throw that in. <laughs> Continuity, people. That's what it, sets apart Marvel from DC as, as I see it right now. Yeah. It, it makes a huge difference. And it makes it easier to tie them into the big things. And the uh, the corporation, uh, what is it? The, God, was it Roscon? Um, that Elector is coming in right yes, now. They're the yes. ones, in, again, Agents of the Shield, that responsible for Deathstroke. Oh, or Deathlock, I'm Death, sorry. Deathlock. Deathlock. Go back and watch that first season. Mm-hmm. The company, yeah, it's. I'm I'm loving it. And don't get me wrong. I mean, I mean, I, and, the, and the Easter eggs. For the record, I do not want. Oh, speaking of Easter eggs, have you seen? Has, uh, what's his name? Marvin hasn't made. Has, has he fixed his? Yeah. Maps yet? Yeah. And then he's talking about all the other people mm-hmm. that want him, want him to do this. Like, I, I'm not doing that no more. Oh yeah. You know what that is, right? Uh, that guy's. Gladiator. Gladiator. You yeah. see the poster in the back? The I movie poster says Gladiator. It. Every time he picks up the saw blade, <laughs> and then he goes like this. He's like, I made one for myself. 
Oh. Go back and look at the emblem. It's the oh, gladiator. Nice. <laughs> just, yeah, I went back. Oh. But him saying that makes me excited because Luke Cage, Iron Fist are in the future. Oh, yeah. Someone's got it. Well, Iron Fist gets his shit from the fucking monk guys. But Luke Cage is going to need some. Uh, he's going to need to spandex up soon. <laughs> Avoid the crown. Let's rock the yellow shirt. No tiaras, Luke. No, no, no tiaras. tiaras. But we'll, we'll, we'll accept. We, we, I did get a little giddy with the when I saw the glimpse of the yellow shirt and Jessica Jones. <laughs> uh, what else was I going to say about that? Uh, the graveyard scene. Yes. Tears. Yes. Tears just rolling down my my bearded face. I. What was it? Penny, penny, dime, dime, one match, two match. <laughs> that uh, story? One match, two match, penny and a dime. Penny and a dime. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's it. Heart-wrenching. Ah, right? oh, Frank. Why you gotta do this to me? Yeah, if, I, if, I, I'm glad they didn't like show flashbacks. Because seriously, I would have like went fetal from no, the sad. No, I'm glad they didn't. I would have went that, fetal. That, that would have been the go-to move. Mm-hmm. But then you want to keep him right on that edge. Yeah. I mean, he was a human being. I mean, he's got so many... For someone who has no superpowers, <laughs> yes. he has so, so many labels and names. Because, mm-hmm. you know, monster, ter- the punisher, um, you know, serial killer, you know, psycho. Yeah. But if you start showing flashbacks and putting faces with them... Yeah. It, it makes him more human. Yeah. He's it, not. That part's dead. That part's dead. Oh, yeah. You know? Um... I think uh, the best line in the, uh, one of the Punishers I read is like, he's got the guy, you know, squared off and he's got the, the barrel. He's all, like, you know, um, Castle, there was a, you know, there's a there's a limit to revenge. And Punisher looks at him and goes, I guess I just haven't found mine yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's, like, oh. That's badass. That is. Uh, the guy that they, what's the name of the actor that they cast for uh, Punisher? John Berthold? Yeah, that guy. Shane is from Walking fucking- Dead? I realized, you know what they did was they just, they were just like, all right, we're just going to take that character and just move him into Daredevil. You know what, though? They didn't. I thought so, too. I thought for sure. I see little nuances, but like the way he carries the gun and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, I remember seeing that. But but no, I I thought for sure I'd just be looking at Shane the whole time. No, he's the Punisher to me. He he's he definitely sells the lighting and the, the shading and that nose. Oh yeah, he looks <laughs> fucked up like someone beat. He's you can tell he's gotten the shit beat out. I watched of him. that. What was that movie? Which is a great movie, Fury, the tank movie. I have not seen that one. Brad Pitt and Shia LaBeouf and um, uh, what's his name, dude from Ant Man. Uh, God, I should know it. That guy just he, that guy stole the movie from Ant Man. <laughs> I can't. Michael remember. Pena. Yes. And uh, John Berthold was in it. Nice. I mean, it was a good movie and all, but it was Shane driving a tank. <laughs> nice. so I, saw, I thought I was going to be doing the same thing. I was so worried. <laughs> nope. This dude is Frank Castle. Uh, but I noticed, like, uh, well, first off, the gun, the way he handles the guns are very yeah. similar. Like, he's had, like, legit training with oh, yeah. firearms in real life. Uh, but I'm, I'm, it's making me rethink Shane as a character in The Walking Dead. Oh, you got to, yeah. I'm like... Before he was just, and I get, I understood what he did before, but at the whole time it's like this guy's just a fucking asshole. But now that I've seen him as the Punisher, I'm just like, all right, he's he's doing things for a reason. If you follow The Walking Dead now, like if you if you faithfully watch episode to episode, season to season, look at Rick where he's at now, and then go back and, and <laughs> Shane was right. Yeah, is Rick is Shane's not such an asshole. I mean, I mean, had, I'm I, I'm as far as the prison. Like when they first started settling into the prison, mm. and uh, spoilers. <laughs> it's, oh, it's been out it's, a while. It's, it's been yeah. out a little while. I, <laughs> I haven't even watched all of them, and I'm like, yeah, spoilers. I get it. They're out there. Uh, um, the baby was just born, and the mom just died. Oh, okay, uh, okay. And you know Glory. when they when they when they get into the prison, fucking Rick's about ready to kill every single inmate in there. Because he's like, this is what's best for the group. Yeah. And it's just such a completely dyna- different dynamic coming from him from, you know, season one, episode one. That's what I'm saying. Just keep watching. You got to see it. You can't see him now 
and then go back. <laughs> and then just think Shane the whole time. <laughs> it's like Shane had good ideas, just poor execution. <laughs> As he, a character. He, he didn't have the, the charm to pull, to, you know, yeah. to get the group behind him. He, he was a good leader, but not a leadership material. Like, there, there are certain things, that, yeah, I always, I always do that. It's like, and I guess, you know, you see like all these internet stuff and everything. It's like certain situations on the show or the, mainly the show. It's like, how would it have went differently if Shane was, instead of Rick? Hmm. These days, not much different. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> so, I mean, it just took a little bit for him to catch up. Yeah. Um, well, let's see. Uh, yeah, how much Shane, time do we got left here? Shane's got about... Uh, should we wrap it up? Uh, we're getting towards there. Um, we, we still got a little bit, though. Um, I am definitely wanting to see more Punisher. I really hope they and are able to put him in some of the other shows that are coming out i'd love to see it yeah see that's the thing and it, it, like going back to the comics too he i think he's the guy that always gets the most team-ups oh even yeah though that's the worst idea for any character to yeah. do is team up with the punisher <laughs> first off he's a lone wolf but see he's also again that's one of those characters where he again, like I said, he was invented to basically be the mirror of other quote unquote superheroes. Yeah. Even villains. Mm-hmm. Where I I wouldn't want to as much as I love him, I wouldn't want to see his own series. I mean, what if he plays off mm-hmm. another one the way they're doing it now, that's awesome. But yeah. I wouldn't want to see it because it, it it get a little too repetitious. Yeah, I, I want to see him kind of as like a regular guest star. In these other hero movies that are and TV shows that are coming, I wouldn't even say regular. Just like you know, because you know, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Yeah, I mean, maybe just you know, an episode here, two parter here. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. Like, you just know, bring them in like every now and then. Uh, for Absolutely, because s- you know, Marvel has all these big things coming up where there's gonna. Well, you do know that's not. This is the first time we've seen the Punisher in the Marvel universe, right? The cinematic universe. Uh, Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. Really? He was. Oh, his name came up on the thing. Didn't and it? also, there was uh, when the Hydra was chasing down Fury. Mm-hmm. That Pinsky truck that smashed into it. I mean, you didn't see him, see him, and then later on when they were chasing Cap and and Black Widow, another Pinsky truck smashed into the... Huh. And if you've read the comics, the... That's his vehicle of choice. Frank Castle definitely has a uh, a link to uh, Pinsky trucks. (laughs) That's interesting. That's really... There's even rumors, you know, depends on who writes the story, that old uh, Nick Fury has a story involving Frank about... Now he doesn't know, you don't know if he's winking or blinking at you. (laughs) Like, Mr. Castle might have had something to do with that loss of eye. You know, that would be really, because you know how like when... They tie uh, that in, wouldn't that be... Yeah, Karen's like, you know, in Frank's house, and then the dudes in the black suits get out of this van. Yeah. I'm like, ooh, there's some government shit going down. Yeah. Is it S.H.I.E.L.D.? Is it? Maybe? I'm not, I I can't, you won't... This is me hoping just a little little bit for some shield tie in into this daredevil. Uh, uh, Words. Um, Use your words. I really, and because Marvel has has the tendency to take their their TV show actors and bring them into the movies. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. So, and vice versa. Uh, I don't know what comic it was, but I'd love to see it done in the TV show or movie involving Daredevil and Cap, where Cap is trying to bring in uh, Matt for something. I can't remember what, but he's like, Matt, you gotta come in. And they're like, taking him to jail or whatever, or to S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters. headquarters. Uh, the Devil You Know. I think, is that it? Yeah. And where, where the, uh, Oh no, Devil in Cell Block D. That they they arrest him. And he's he like jumps out a window and Cap, Cap throws the shield at him. He's like, Matt, you gotta come in. And Matt catches Daredevil catches the shield and says, I object. Yeah, 
everybody I see it they, all over they, Tumblr. They, yeah, they end up getting the. He gets arrested, and everybody knows who he is. Mm-hmm. And the devil in cell block D. Oh, ho, ho. where he's sharing the same cell block as Wilson Fisk. Oh shit! Funny you say that. Keep watching. Oh, <laughs> that's all I'm saying, I'm folks. I'm excited. That's all. That that's all. I'm gonna end it on that note. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you. Uh, do you last one last thing? Do you have any reading recommendations? Yes. Just off the top of your head, I would recommend anything Frank Miller Daredevil. I'm stuck on that right now. Anything Punisher. Oh yeah, definitely. Except for twenty ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Anything Punisher. Um, now I hear uh, Quiver's a really good book by Kevin Smith. I'd like to read that. <laughs> yeah, it, it's definitely. That's inside joke, folks. <laughs> it's seriously though. Go out and buy yourself Quiver. It's awesome. Any of Kevin Smith's comics are awesome. We love you, Kevin. Yes. yes. All righty. So that does it for this. This. Uh, this talking comics thank you for staying with us uh we're gonna try and do this weekly uh we don't have a set recording date for sure yet but this as soon as we get our site going we're gonna be uploading these to itunes until then we're gonna be putting them on youtube i'm gonna be putting up some pictures for you and uh hopefully you guys enjoy this as much as we enjoyed making it so thank you very much sweet thank you all righty